Hi guys. So, um, okay, I'm gonna be doing the, uh, makeup, or the no brush makeup challenge. I guess it is. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm trying to see. I guess when I look at the camera, it doesn't look bad. Okay. Um, I don't know who first started this challenge. Uh, I saw it from Pink Sparkles and Eugenia, Eugenia Cooney. Um, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna do your full face of makeup with no brushes, using just your hands. So, um, I'm just trying to find a mascara, or a, wow, yeah, a cover up. Ew, that's all water. Ew. That like matches my face because I don't want to use my uh, cover up anymore for like these challenges just because I don't want it to. Okay, I can probably get enough out of this. I don't know if this is my color, but we'll try it anyways. Okay, so let's get started. All right. First, I'm going to do my Dark Circle Concealer, which is very easy to do without brushes because I don't always use brushes anyways for it. Then I'm going to use this uh, Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation for a truer, fresher color. It's in warm ivory, so I don't even know if it matches my skin. Um, but like I said, I want something that like... That's not my actual foundation that I use every day. If this will even come out of the bottle. Can I... Okay, this one might not. Oh, I'm getting something. I'm getting product. Uh, ew. <laughs> That's like gross. Um, so yeah. I mean, I usually put my foundation on my face with my hands, but I don't ever rub it in. Because clearly that's not like even. Heat this bottle. Okay, I guess I can. Yeah, this is not gonna. This coverage is gonna be awful. Well, I mean, it's something. I need a makeup wipe. Because my hands are going to get very, very messy. And I don't want to contaminate my makeups. Contaminate. Contaminate? Contaminate my makeups. Okay, that was weird. Anyways, okay. So there's the liquid foundation. Uh, now I have to put on my powder. Which again, I'm gonna see if I can find a powder. That like I haven't used. Oh, it's liquid. I'm gonna just use this elf pressed powder. It's I know it's not my skin color, but oh, this is awful. I don't like putting powder on without brushes. It's not. <laughs> 
Like, there's no reason you should be putting your powder on without brushes, really. Especially because the brushes can get all your creases covered. Like, your fingers just really can't. And I usually do, usually do like spiral motions with my brushes and it's harder to do it with your hand. So, okay, powder on. It's kind of dark, but you know. This is only for this, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, I just got on my shirt. Um, oh, I could have used this foundation. Next time I'll have to use that one. Um, okay, anyways. My makeup tape is dirty. Just, uh, okay, I guess I'm going to do my brows now. Oh, since I can't use a brush, um, this should be interesting. I'm gonna use my brow expert again because I can't. Ew. Ew. Oh my god. I don't. Well, I mean, I guess it's dark in them now. But it's not like the. I don't know. This is awful. Um, powder for my brows. Oh, I must just put on the gel again. I'm gonna have to touch them up with foundation. Oh, yeah, the brows don't actually look that good. Done with your finger. Um, I'm gonna take my last and finish by Rimmel London 25 hour foundation. And I'm gonna kinda just touch it up. Touch up the, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's when you know your foundations are bad when they're all liquefied. I have literally, okay, so I have a drawer of foundations that, like, are bad because I don't use them. Because they're, like, not my skin tone. Okay. Well, this worked. So I'm going to take the foundation and I'm gonna just touch up the brows. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. Bottom of the brows and top of the brows. I mean, I do this anyways, but I usually use a brush. I mean, I guess that made a difference, but not really. I'm gonna do the other brow. This brow is worse. Yeah, I just took off some of my color, so. Okay, well those brows are screwed up. Anyways. Okay, so brows are done. Oh wait, I need my. Where did I put it? 
Ugh, hi guys. I need my brow gel. I'm gonna just take the brow gel, I guess, and since I know you're, <laughs> since you know, I already took off most of it. I don't like not being able to use a brush. I guess that's why I have so many makeup brushes. I don't know what I would do without my makeup brushes. Like, I wouldn't die without my makeup brushes. Literally die without them. Um, what's next? I guess eyeshadow. Okay, um... Well, clearly I can't do like a crease or anything. So I'm gonna do the eyeshadow base that I have. I wanna get like a nude eyeshadow base because I'm tired of the white one. I mean, don't get me wrong, the white one works fantastic. It works really, really good, I do. Like how good it is. But, I mean, I would like a more nude one. Which I have like a eyeshadow primers, but I want like a actual base in like a nude color. Um, I think because I haven't used it yet, I'm gonna use my. Actually, I'm just gonna use a neon palette. I'm gonna use my LA Girl Neons. Let's uh, let's do some neon eyes. Um, for Halloween, let's do orange. I'm gonna go right on the lid with the orange. I'm gonna try to decrease. I don't know how well it's gonna work because I don't know how well everything's gonna blend, but we'll try it. I need to get closer to my eyelid. Oh, that close. Oh, there we go. Okay, now one closer. Or this, it depends like how you position your. I'm not gonna do matching colors. Like, let's just let's just do this. I'm gonna do like a fuchsia in the crease. And more or less looks like I'm just blending the two colors together. That also happens when you have, you know, thick fingers. Thick finger problems. And yet, this eye looks so much better. What is life? Like, what is life? <laughs> Creased. And then I'll use the white in here to do. Yeah, this eye is just coming out like super sloppy. I don't understand. Like, I don't get it. I mean, but overall, for it being my fingers that I'm using, it still looks decent, except for my brows. I don't like my brows. But the eyeshadow is coming out like 
more decent for the fact, pure fact that I'm using like my fingers to apply everything. I want to see if I can get you guys a close up of the. If you can like see that, it's really hard to see. These this lighting like sucks. They're like for some reason orangish light. I don't know. But that's what I have, so. But there'll be a picture. This one day. Um, uh, what do I have to do? I don't know. Okay, so the one thing I don't know how to do is eyeliner in this look. So I don't know how I'm gonna, like, go about that. Um, so let's do some blush. <laughs> I feel like one side of my face holds pigment more than the other. Does anybody else have that problem? I've never actually applied this bronzer. Oh, my headband's coming off. Ah! My headband just like flew off. Oh, okay, yeah. And I just totally did that on the side that holds pigment more. God, I'm wiping all this off. Okay. Oh, that looks so uneven. Again, another reason for brushes, you know. Should have done my highlight before I did my bronzer. Okay, whatever. <sighs> yeah, my face looks kind of ridiculous, actually. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, so the eyeliner, I don't think I wanna... Actually... Okay, let's try this. Let's try... I might be able to get eyeshadow close enough to my eye to use this eyeliner. This is gonna take, like... Oh my god, it's working. Like, not great, but it's working a little bit. Okay, like, it didn't work. Awesome. But the fact that I was able to... Okay, well now if I clean it up, it should look okay, actually. I'm gonna use my regular stuff though because everything else is like too liquefied. Okay. Like, I don't know. This is turning out to be an utter disaster. 
but that's kind of cool that it like took to my uh it took to my waterline with my finger application because if I ever have to use eyeshadow I always use a brush Like, I would never think of applying it with my finger in my life. Okay. Okay, so it's kind of like half on, half off my waterline. But, do you know what? For using just your hands, I'm okay with that. Uh, two things left. Let's pick a mascara. And of course my phone and everything else is in the way of it. I clearly can't curl my lashes. I hate mascara on my hands. Like, I hate it with a passion. <laughs> it's all over my eyeshadow. <laughs> like, all over my eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm trying not to, like, pull too hard. Because eyelashes are, like, super sensitive. And can come out super easy. And honestly, I've lost enough eyelashes from, like, playing around, so. Okay, so aside from, you know, getting it on my pretty eyeshadow, that kind of worked in a way. I have black hands. Black hands from eyeliner, or uh, mascara. Um, and then the last thing is lips. So, let's go with lipstick. Um, I guess we can do like a bright color. Since we're doing like bright already. This should be like a pink. Yeah, we'll do like a bright pink. Because, why not, right? I have to like really rub it on my finger. And of course, lip products are like one of the easiest things to apply with uh, your finger. I mean, mask or I mean, yeah, no mascara. Um, eyeshadow is not that hard, other than like the crease and everything. All right, so there you go. We'll face the makeup done with just your hands. And it looks pretty bad, but it doesn't look like 100% awful. I'm like showing you guys my messy room, don't mind it. Let's see if it focuses. But uh, yeah, I'm like messing around with the camera. But uh, yeah, so that was that. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, bye guys. Oh, uh, make sure you, I was about to, like, get off. Make sure you like, um, subscribe, and check out my other social media links down below. And let me know what other makeup challenges you guys want me to do. Alright, bye.